It is time for some metencephalon. We're going to use the same views for our metencephalon. There's two structures that we are going to learn that are involved in the metencephalon, and one of them is the pons. The pons is um, the, well, it's not really, okay, never mind. The pons is basically responsible for um, regulating breathing. We have the pons also here. It's kind of an obvious little bulge on your brain. You can see it. And there is a connection between the pons and the cerebellum, which is our other um, metencephalonic structure. I think I just made that word up. Cerebellum. The cerebellum is a fantastic structure. It's, first of all, really pretty. Second of all, it's responsible for fine motor movement and complex motor movement. The cerebellum is capable of learning, um, like, routines. Like you are an athlete and you do the exact same, uh, I don't know, I used to coach volleyball and we would practice our uh, approaches to spike the volleyball and we would do it over and over and over again. And when my players were, you know, seventh graders. They were terrible, and they had to think about every single step that they did. But by the time they were sophomores, they they had it down. They didn't have to think about how to do an approach. It just was automatic because they had had it drilled into their bodies. Same thing with something like playing the piano. You know, you learn a piano piece, and then you don't have to think about it. Your fingers just kind of know where to go, and you, you're not actually actively processing it. Different parts of the brain are at work when you are doing something that you know how to do really well or something that you are just learning how to do. Hmm, I think that's about it. I better stop because the last one is the myelencephalon. Let's keep going.